All right, this is a comment um, at, on AA Nationality of the Land um, by Copper Aborigines. Wow, I hadn't listened to the video yet and hadn't viewed this document yet. And yes, the code number is correct. Now, I'll listen to you read this document. Laugh out loud. I have mentioned the certificate of live birth is to be certified and authenticated. As I have stated, it comes with the full faith and credit letter attached. Don't remove the letter. You mentioned, as we are gods. For those who do not know where this is written, it's in Psalms um, chapter 82, verse 6. Read the whole chapter for thyself. I know you're not Traglodyte. I know you're not. Triglodites have been here, just not among the natural people, meaning the copper-colored, until um, they had learned to walk upright, learned to talk. But their creation isn't what we've been told. These people that we see everywhere, every day, called white, aren't all the same people. The triglodytes look like them, and y'all think they're the same people. It's because the triglodytes tricked them with their evil ways. Triglodytes' bloodline isn't the same as yours or mine. They have two fathers and one mother. The rest for the two fathers is because their mother's father there is an ancient story about this. At one time, there was a race known as lepers without pigmentation. They had to leave and move around and move above hot parallel lines to a cooler climate in North Africa called Europe today or in the Caucasus regions. They lived there for many years undisturbed until one day so strange beings saw some strange beings saw these people. Well these strange beings killed all the males in mean oh she says she means all of them, not one was left living. This brings these beings took those women and seated these women who bore their, these beings seeds, but many died at birth or died there shortly after. The ones that lived never walked, they just crawled around. Now these that crawl seated the younger girls that got old enough to bore more of these strange beings. First children from those leper women. The younger leper women began to have more of these strange looking beings for the second set of those who only crawled. Those could somewhat stand, but not for long periods of time they'd all fall back down until the third generation of these strange beings that seeded these same young women who had become a little older themselves, the ones who could stand um, but would fall. It is their children that started walking but walked humped over. And yes, they're hideous looking Anyway, two generations later, when they walked upright and started talking in their father's language, these creatures are still here today. Their children are tri triglodytes. They have created more and more, but now these seeds aren't producing like it once was. They thrive on bloodshed, cause... That's their nature. There in every land there is. 
they will war against each other, meaning using other people to kill for them. Oh, this goes much deeper than I can explain here. They carry the blood of theirs in them, but they look like so-called white people who are really the offsprings of the people known as lepers. So everyone that you're calling whites aren't white at all. These be beings just look that way. Rest assured, they hate the copper-colored people. These Moors came in contact with them and lost a bloody war against these troglodytes. This is why we, in this day and time, know firsthand about these troglodytes. They hung many of our people from trees. Now you know who they are. Didn't think they haven't studied us. Their evil nature depends on it. They walk in every circle of life, observing our every move except one. They are afraid of our creator, not us. Yeah, you know, Copper Aborigines, I started thinking um, recently, I'm noticing something here that um, I've been wondering over the years, and I'm sure you guys have wondered the same thing. Some of the people that look like us, right, that are melanated, and we think are more as brothers and sisters, I'm wondering, they carry some of the same um, behaviors and features what Copper Aborigines is, is describing here, to the point that you start to question whether they're even Moors. Like, okay, they start to do things or they're doing things that are so nonsensical that you're trying to figure out, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. So I'm wondering if some of our people who look like us, if they're also some of those troglodytes, See where I'm going? And I was doing some research some time ago, and they were saying that some of them reincarnated are not actually Moors. They look like Moors. You know, it brings brings me back to that movie, Galaxy Quest, eh? You guys go watch, the, watch that movie, Galaxy Quest. So I'm beginning to wonder. We have some people here that just, I don't even know, man. You just have to wonder. Today I came home and to our domicile, and sure enough, their pit bull dog was sitting right adjacent to our veranda, and I'm sitting there wondering, how the heck did you get over here? Oh, boy. Anyways, so, um, yeah, this is something to think about. Thank you guys for writing us today. Um, I'm trying to get through all the comments as much as I can. Um, I will be reading some of the comments as I go through and to see what you guys have posted to. And um, thank you to those of us those of you out there who are um, sharing with us here, um, those of you out there who are sharing with us, please make certain that you know what you're sharing with us here in terms of things that, because we post, if you share with us information, we'll probably make a video about it. So just be mindful of that. Anyways, you guys, like, share, subscribe. Those of you who wish to support us here can email us now at themullings at gmail.com, T-H-E-M-U-L-L-I-N-G-S, M U. L -L -I -N -G -S at gmail.com we'll put the link in the description below um, hopefully everything is remedied now some other people are complaining that they're also seeing glitches in YouTube so something must be going awry there but all this technology we created our ancestors created for us so you know before we're all thinking of creating our own stuff but it's already created for us like share subscribe you guys have yourself a great day um, go and take a look at some of the comments in um, those of you asking for some information, if you go back to the last few videos I created on the declaratory um, judgments, um, complaints, and the notice of claim, you'll see what to do there. And I think I've explained it in detail there, but you can also write to us here for private consultation at themullings at gmail.com. Thank you in advance um, to every single one of you for all that you guys do out there in your own research. Don't take our words for it. Go and do your research.